sorry, I'm still inflating a little bit. It's a little deflated. But today I'm going to be making oh, these. They're delicious. I love them. I've made them a bunch of times before. And I love them. They're good. They are good. And they microwave really well too, which is part of what makes them so good is that you can eat them as leftovers and they're still delicious. Oh man, okay. I know the ingredients and stuff, but I don't know all the times. So first things first, you're gonna turn on the oven. Oh, I've been so far away. 400, yummy. This recipe is super easy. You need uh, one can of chicken, cream, creamed chicken. chicken because you can't have chicken pot pie without actual chicken. Oh, I'm going to use those. I still have these herbs left, so I'm going to use those instead of the ones that are in the uh, little bottles. And, oh, oh, oh no. Ah. <laughs> Frozen mixed veggies. While the chicken thing heats up, I'm going to work on everything else. T-Rex oven mitts, or some T-Rex like cooking glove type things. That would be cool. And I could put fake blood all over them and be like, I just ate someone. <laughs> top half of the screen. Oh no, I deflated a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I can only see the top half of the screen because the other half is like duct taped to the wall. Well, it's it's in a case that's duct taped to the wall, which, you know, still makes me nervous that it's going to fall in. Okay, so you take your cream of chicken and what's this say? Cream of chicken. Oh, good lord. Okay. Two cups chicken breast. It says two cups chicken breast, which is like one big chicken breast. So that's all you need. You don't need two of them. Mm. One cup frozen veggies. So. I'm just going to 
I dropped my little mitts on the floor. Alright, one cup chicken uh, veggies. Chicken veggies. Mm. I suppose if you had fresh veggies, you can use those too. I do like a little heaping cup because I like my uh, my little pot pies to be meaty. You know, I like them full. <laughs> All right. One cup shredded cheese. Today I got Velveeta. <sighs> Because the store did not have my regular shredded cheese. And it says milk on the back, and it was in the, throat, the you know cold section, so I figure it's real cheese. I don't know. I will find out. I could find out right now, but I can't taste anything yet. <laughs> and this I also do keeping. I do way, way more cheese than you're supposed to do. <laughs> because I like cheese. It's delicious. There's one. Sort of a half. It looks like one cup. It's close enough. how I would, you know, sterilize this costume. Mm -hmm. So, open it up. I want to get the bigger one, because I've got two chicken breasts, but I want the big one. Actually, they're all the same size, so. I'm going to put that in a baggie after I'm done filming. When I say baggie, I mean Ziploc baggie and stick it in the freezer for later. Huh. Okay. All right. Cheese. Cheese. Seasonings. Oh, this is going to be hard because I can't smell how much I've used and how strong it is.
too much salt is gonna like make you cry. I think that might be too much. That's going to be really strong. We will see what happens, I guess. No, I think that's going to be really strong. Oh. Nope, it's good. No blood. <laughs> Can you imagine the call if I, if I actually cut my finger off? wearing a T-Rex costume. <laughs> oh, that'd be the funniest. Or I'd have to call them here, you know, because I do have that health insurance now. Oh, that would be epic. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Alright, I think that's chopped up fine enough. I will be sure to let you know if this is too much stuff. Uh. I'm just throw it in there. I'm going to use this cutting board and knife for the chicken once it's done. Next is your powder. Uh, onion powder. Garlic powder. Because I love them both. Mm. And I don't measure. I kind of keep going until there's like a pile that looks good. <laughs> Especially with the garlic. It's going to get all sliced and diced, and I'm going to throw it in here. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. Oh, my gosh. Not to worry, I say that every time I make this stuff, because I always put in so much freaking cheese. All right. You're going to have a goo ball that looks like that. I don't know if you saw that or not. Right. Yes. Good ball. All right. Next step. Again, while we're waiting, you gotta get the pies ready. to use the flaky ones because I feel like they're all light and tasty. I don't know, I like them. And I get the buttery kind because I like to butter it. Ah. Like this is the easiest recipe. You could make this with kids. Oh, and they could actually be helpful, you know? Oh, okay. I 
that's not how they go. You're going you're gonna to fix them. Well, I'm going to fix them. I don't know what you guys are going to do. All right. Ooh, it's so sticky. These ones are kind of sticky. Oh, please don't get on there. because you're going to do that later. One thing is they're going to kind of like, they're going to unsquish themselves a little bit. Because they hate you. <laughs> you just want to get them mostly flattened. Just small little circles, and then stick them on there. And then when you put the filling in, you're going to like jam them in more. You'll see. You know what I think would be the coolest is to like only make seven instead of eight and like take one and turn it into the little strips and put it on top so it's all pretty. <laughs> but I'm too lazy for that shit. <laughs> Now we wait. Alright. And just shove those back. like tight on the wrist otherwise the air whooshes out and then I get all flat. Check it out. I can hear it. It's making noise and the light is almost green. I can smell it too. I can smell the chicken. It's it's it, it's it's getting there. It's trying to, anyways. Ah, I don't know if it's 
done yet. Oh, it's done. <laughs> yes. All right, chicken. Unfortunately, it's stupid hot chicken, so I have to wait a little bit. Beautiful. Yes. Oh. You can put in extra of whatever you want, but it's got to be able to fit into how many little pies you've got. So, you either have to sacrifice on other stuff, or you just have to get more pies, you know? Just double the whole thing. I would. I have. I cut each little piece in half and then I like dice it down the length. This is much harder when you're not using your fingers. But it's stupid hot right now. So this would be the time to use the little mitts. <laughs> I bet it'd be funny. <laughs> no, come back, chicken bits. Oh, that is a big chunk. Come on, there you go. Smaller pieces. She likes to eat plastic for some fucking reason. And it's not that she's hungry, she's got food in her bowl right now. Alright. Going in with the mitts, y'all. <laughs> oh, it is funny. <laughs> Wrappers, the T-Max wrappers. 
It comes in a plastic case, and Baby Doll is stupid and likes to eat plastic. So she's like, oh my god, that's delicious. It's going to be right over there. All I have to do is sneak past a giant T-Rex. <laughs> Like I normally just hold it with my fingers and cut it. I don't normally, you know, do this whole fork thing. But this is a this is a tough one. Ah, no, stud it. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I'll save a little piece for the dog. I'll save a little end. Because she'll like that. Because she is a dog. Get! 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 Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm a terrible pet owner. I'm just going to chop it up and put it in with the rest of it. I'm going to try not to get any of this on my damn computer. That would suck. perspective is off because I'm like eight miles away. And in this suit, which has a little thing, and I can't really see past it. Alright. Oh, these are going to be some big ones this time. I can tell. Okay. So, <clears throat> you've got your, uh, your chicken bits. I'm gonna like stick it down and in more and kind of leave the top edges off. And then take a big ass spoonful and just stick it in there. And you could probably take two spoonfuls. Blup, blup. way on the edges. You want it like all on the inside of the little bowl. If it goes on the edges, then as it cooks, it's going to spill outside the edges and end up everywhere else. Okay. 
You want to squish the air out from underneath it also while you're uh, squishing things. Big old spoonful. Yeah! Get it in there. <laughs> I know someone's going to say it. <laughs> what is what she said? Dough is a lot more doughy than normal. Ooh, hey, get away from the plastic. Go eat the go eat the cutting board. It's got chicken on it. Go mess with the cutting board, not the plastic. I see you over there. I'm about to chase you again. Yeah, you better turn around. I should have gone like around the outside edge. <laughs> that would have been better. Mm. Oh, that one's all over the pan. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to put some more on all of these. Sometimes they spill, sometimes they don't. If you put the top of the pile kind of in the center, then it doesn't spill so much as it cooks. Um, if you have to pile them up, you know, don't pile it up near the outside of the pan, obviously, otherwise you're going to get poop everywhere. Put your tallest ones in the middle or toward the edges that are, you know, in the middle of the pan. judge my edges very well because Chicken bit. Chicken bit. And because there's nothing raw, you can totally eat that last cheesy spoonful. But I can't because I'm trapped in this costume. Oh, get off. Oh, God, I'm gonna lick my finger. I'm so sad I had to just wipe that off. It's a very bum. All right. All ready to go. I'm going to find out how long to cook them. How long to cook? Cook. 15 minutes. All right, in we go. And let's try not to touch the stove with this stupid thing. <laughs> Y'all, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> you have to ruin the magic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. In. Okay, give me a moment to get all magical again. <laughs> Up. <laughs> oh, I gotta put the timer. 
Oh gosh, my head just went sideways. All right, cook time. All right. <laughs> totally just ruined the magic. Now everyone is, is gonna know I'm not really a T-Rex. <laughs> that I have to hold my head up. Yay, baby doll! And that is the cooking of those. I don't really want to sit here for 15 minutes while they cook. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to watch me sit here for 15 minutes. It's, you know, as exciting as it is. I didn't even touch the uh, cutting board. Let me give it to the dog when she comes in. I wonder what she thinks of the costume. We shall, uh, we shall find out, I guess. Oh. Soak that there. child sized one which is super depressing but the costume said one size fits most and technically it does fit but I'm too short I need to figure out like ways to strap the legs to my belt and then I just have to stand on my tiptoes to see out the window yeah I'm gonna finish this thing Another smash into the wall. <laughs> 